Hey guys, this is Perfect Parking Driving School. Matthew's first week and he's popped the tire because he didn't do what he was told going up the gutter. He's now learning the hard way how to change a tire. So we're under the car now, that's the jack. And he's going to put it just here to wind the front wheel up. And now he gets to figure out without scratching the side of my car again just how to do it and not like that. Matthew, the hook end goes into the round piece. So without screaming at him, I'm going to let him do this all by himself and jack the wheel up. Not just high enough to get the flat off, but high enough to get the wheel with air in it, under it. Hey Moon Moon. You gonna do this again? Yes. <laughs> now you will see that Chloe has a space saver. A heavy space saver. Ugh. Which is only rated to 80 kilometers an hour. Now normally my advice is not to put it on the front wheel because that's your steerer. However, we are only around the corner from the uh, tire shop, so Lesson learnt. So Moon Moon, would you care to take the hubcap off? You don't need that. Don't pull the middle of it, you pull the sides of it. That's probably where it hit the gutter that it's got a big impression mark. Come on, pull it off. It's really tough. Come on, pull it off. It won't break. Sure? Sure. 100%. Rip it off. Thank you. <laughs> so idealistically you need to crack the nuts before you get it in the air. So he's going to learn which size of the uh, crossbar he needs to get my little wheel nuts off. And remember righty tighty lefty loosey. And go in a diagonal pattern. So you do the opposite one. No. Thank you. So you go in a diagonal pattern, you don't go around in a circle. Sharp. So you can probably see the car moving under the weight of him uh, popping these well nuts. That's why you crack it when it's on the floor. Come on. So when it comes to lifting a tyre, you really need to lift with your back once you've wriggled it off of the studs. So wriggle it off the studs and roll it out of the way don't knock the jack. Some people would put the wheel under the car in case the jack fails so it doesn't hit the ground completely. But Matthew's going to ignore everything I'm saying. The other really important thing is to make sure the wheel goes on the right way. Yes! So the stickers are on the outside and now you have to line the wheel studs up and hold it there while you put the nuts back on. Lining the studs up can be difficult, but if you've only got four of them, it's a little bit easier. If you lose your nuts, for whatever reason, it's cold, it's wet, blah, blah, blah. Don't swear, please. If you lose your nuts, you take one off each of the other wheels. So once the nuts are finger tight, you then tighten them whilst it's in the air. And then once the jack is lowered, you tighten them again to make sure that they're tight under weight. But again, we're only going around the corner to get the good wheel back on. So, yeah. And down she goes. The weight's being taken back by that wheel. It's always a good thing when you have your car checked to have your spare checked as well. Just in case something like this happens. So Matthew's just about to take the... Uh, the tool and make sure all the nuts are tied again now that it's under weight and then he's going to put the jack back to where he found it now in this model of Yaris I think it's the NCP 15 I think it's under the passenger seat as Miss Emily and I found out the other day the jack for hers is in the wall of the boot now if you're anything like into the Euro cars the Freelander actually had one in the engine bay was where its um, tool kit was so you've just got to know where this stuff is for when you really 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 need it 
Keep tightening them up. 